Hello, Facebook, Instagram, and good old uh, social media realm. It's uh, Mark here today. I'm just in the preps of uh, doing up some food here today um, for my lunch. And I figured we'd actually get into a little food. So, And I'm also in the process of actually brewing some green tea kombucha. So I'm just flipping the phone around to show you. So you can see some kombucha going on for this week. I just strained out what I had. I'm going to add some fruit to that or some other goodies to flavor it up and let that sit for five more days. And then I'm just in the throes of actually creating uh, some yogurt uh, that I like to have, uh, Jody and I like to have for lunch. Um, so here's actually some of the, as I turn around, some of the berries and the goodies that go in that, the actual yogurt mix. And I'm going to post the ingredients here for that as well too. Getting used to how this... Uh, sort of works and then actually I'll put a picture up as well too of just all the food ingredients so you sort of uh, got a gist of looking at what's on the table there and I actually put some kombucha in uh, the mix as well too to uh, just add a little uh, enzyme to that that's good for your guts um, so what we've done today is uh, we basically got um, about um, I quarter cup of or two tablespoons I guess around two tablespoons of each of uh, actually unsweetened uh, shredded coconut um, some uh, chia buckwheat and hemp cereal mix um, and then unsweetened almond milk uh, coconut milk uh, some blueberries raspberries uh, and blackberries some pineapple some kombucha and um, and yeah, just some goodness in a bowl. So if you're looking to make this, this is absolutely delicious, really good for you. We find it sits well in our stomach. It's something we'll have for morning for breakfast or for lunch and really holds well with us. It's got a good fat content, um, uh, low glycemic. If you want to make it even lower, I put pineapple in, adds a little bit of sweetener. You can take that out. Um, but uh, totally good for you. If you don't want to use uh, an animal protein, you can totally just put in uh, some um, some coconut yogurt if you want to make that or you buy it depending on what you get. There's some options in your health food stores, uh, whatever you sort of choose to do there. Uh, we'll also put in some uns uh, unsweetened raisins as well too, which is nice, and uh, some slivered almonds, and that's uh, what's in this mix that we've got now. Um, so yeah, so totally good for you. Great for your morning, quick and easy to make. Um, and the cool part is if you let it sit, uh, if you make it for your morning and take it for lunch and you let it sit, it gets really nice and thick. Um, but I quite like it, and you can actually add a little dose if you don't do the kombucha like I'm doing this morning you can add some uh, natural vanilla to it as well too and adds just a nice little edge as well so I hope you enjoy this uh, I hope you take a moment to try this I'll post up pictures of the food with the video and I'll actually give a nutritional breakdown as well too when this video is posted up to see you all have a wonderful day enjoy some food enjoy some fun and looks like we're getting some snow so get your shovels out and uh, have some snowball fights uh, love you all eat well be happy happy and create change.